In this video I'm going to explain how to set up the DMR channels to make the best use of the OpenG77 firmware. I've currently on screen got the original Community CPS uh, which interfaces to the official Radiolity firmware and looking in the channels here the, uh, the first group of channels are here I've got are FM channels so just ignoring those and the, uh, the first DMR channel in the list is this one here which is VK3RGL I'll just expand that, try and make that a little bit easier to see VK3RGL uh, that's that one there so it's VK3RGL time slot 1 torque group 8 and the next one down is uh, VK3RGL torque group sorry time slot 1 torque group 9 so, I, I, so I've basically got 14 separate channels just for one repeater which is which is the standard way you need to set it up for the official firmware because you need to have if you've got different torque groups that you can use on the same repeater you need to assign a separate channel for each torque group so going back to here if I say look at this uh, this one here so this is uh, for VK3 RGL time slot 2 uh, torque group 505 and then uh, next one would be say torque group actually 3800 is redundant so 3802 would be the, uh, the next torque group and that's uh, obviously controlled using the uh, repeater slot down here and also the uh, the contact so this is the way you you have to set it up for the official firmware which leads to a, a, as you can as you know it was uh, it leads to a huge amount of duplication in the channels you need masses and masses of channels also you need you end up using an awful lot of zones because to group the channels together for a single repeater you need to put them into a zone uh, which is the zone here I've got for uh, VK3 RGL and obviously inside that zone then you've got, hang on, I'll switch back to the other view so you've got the, those channels assigned to uh, that zone so to switch repeaters you have to change the zone in the official firmware now comparing and contrasting that with the Open GD77. I'm just going to go to the Open uh, GD77 CPS as well now. So switching to uh, that. Okay. So I'm now in the Open GD77 CPS, and looking at the uh, the zones again and the channels. Well, you can see instantly that I've got much less zones. Uh, I've only got one zone for all the VK3 DMR repeaters. And also looking at the channels, I've now only got one channel per repeater. So this is the same same repeater as before. I'll switch to the other view. So this is the same repeater as before VK3 RGL, but I've now only got one channel I need to assign to that repeater, not 14 channels to that repeater. And also, uh, obviously, it's part, it's just part of the uh, the VK3 DMR zone. Now the reason that you can do this in the OpenGD77 firmware is that the OpenGD77 firmware uses what was the RX group list has become just a, a talk group list so it just shows us TG list and in, in this case uh, it's uh, my talk group list for the DMR mark network here uh, I've got uh, access to Brandmeister repeaters as well so I've actually got a couple of uh, different talk group lists. I've got one for Brandmeister and one for DMR Mark but this is a DMR Mark repeater so I'm picking the DMR Mark uh, talk group list. The uh, OpenGD77 firmware, if you don't define a talk group list or if the talk group list is empty it still defaults to using the the contact from the uh, digital contacts that you've assigned so you can operate that way but only if you don't have an RX or a talk group list or if it's got no uh, no talk groups in the list but that's really not a very efficient way of, of doing things unless, unless you're just running a single hotspot or something and you just want to manually dial everything uh, if you, if you act, need to access repeaters and uh, you just want to be able to press a button to change between the talk groups then the, uh, the best way to do it is to create an RX group list or a talk group list for the, for the talk groups you need 
for that repeater and then assign it to the channel. So looking in this case at the, uh, I'll get rid of the channel screen behind and I'll get rid of the other screen as well. Okay, so for DMR mark, uh, all of the channels, sorry, all of the talk groups which I had needed to originally assign as channels, separate channels, they just become talk groups in the talk group list here. So I've got the same ones as before, uh, 505, 3801 to 3809 and a couple of others. Uh, I think in the previous example I had a talk group 8 as well, but uh, that's, that's not actually in this code plug, though I could, could add it in. So when you assign the talk groups you need for a specific repeater to the talk group list and then assign that talk group list to the channel, then that makes those channels available to, sorry, that those talk groups available to that channel by pushing the left and the right arrow keys in the OpenGD77 firmware. Now additionally to that, on DMR Mark, there are certain talk groups are assigned to different repeater slots. So you can, uh, so that looks initially here like you might want to have two channels, one for the uh, time slot one or repeater slot one and one for time slot two. However, there isn't also an additional feature in the OpenGD77 firmware and in the OpenGD77 CPS in that you can assign an override talk group to a contact. So if I was to look at uh, this one here, well, the first one in the list, which is talk group five. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can go into the zoom screen. I might get a better uh, view of what's going on here. Okay, so looking at, looking at this one here. So I know that on DMR mark in my area, that talk group five uh, is on time slot one, whereas let's say uh, talk group uh, 3802, here I've switched to 3802, now 3802 is on time slot two. So this allows you to set up an override for the repeater slot, for the time slot, for each individual talk group. Now looking, say for example, at talk group nine, you can also disable the override. So talk group nine would be applicable on time slot one and time slot two on, on pretty much uh, any repeater because it's just the, local, the talk, uh, local talk group to that repeater. So in this case, I don't have a repeater slot override assigned to talk group nine, but I do have it assigned to the talk groups like five and eight and uh, say 3809, 3810, etc., on, on time slot one, and also all of the talk groups on that are on time slot two. So these ones here are on time slot uh, time slot two. So going back to the channel again. So if I look back on the VK3RGL channel here, and I'll just switch back to the other view. Sorry, it's not so zoomed in, but. Uh, so what that would do is that if I selected from the left and right hand buttons a time slot one talk group that had the override assigned to it, then it will override the default repeater slot for this channel. And basically all of mine have the override on apart from uh, talk group nine, which could apply to either. So uh, that's basically how to make the most of the OpenGD77 firmware and the CPS in terms of not having uh, lots and lots of duplicate channels.